A motorcycle, the preferred mode of transport for those who prefer to be in the action, balanced on two wheels, exposed to the elements and dangers from other vehicles on the road. The wind in your face, the sound of the engine and the feeling of being on the road rather than in a metal can with glass panes for viewing. A motorcycle can take you to places a car may not and gives you a thrill that is unparalleled. The engine of your motorcycle needs some love and care to serve you well. The most regular thing it needs is an oil change. Depending on your make and model and the type of oil you use, the oil change interval would be between 4000 and 7000 kilometers. The first thing to do is warm up the engine for 10 minutes so that the oil thins down, the impurities are suspended and can flow out easily. Next, loosen the filler cap. Loosen and unscrew the primary drain bolt on the bottom of the engine to let the engine oil out. Make sure you have a pan under the bike to catch all the old oil. Next, unscrew the secondary drain bolt. Now, unscrew the last drain bolt on the right side of the bike that also houses a pre-filter. While the oil drains, clean the pre-filter with some petrol and let it dry. You can use either petrol or diesel, but if you do use diesel, make sure to dry the parts out completely before you put them back on the bike. The primary drain bolt and the, the drain bolt with the pre-filter both have a magnet and that should be wiped clean with a clean cloth. Like every living organism, your bike's engine also needs to breathe clean air to stay healthy. This is why it's important to clean and replace the air filter at regular intervals and it's also really easy. To clean and or change the air filter, unbolt the right side cover under the seat. The air filter is housed behind this plastic piece which is held in place by four screws. Remove the old air filter. If you see dust inside the air box, it's always a good idea to wipe it off with a clean cloth. Now insert the new air filter and button up this section of the bike in the reverse order of how it was opened. Place a cloth on the exhaust pipe to catch any oil that might drip when you open the oil filter cover. Otherwise what happens is it flows under onto the exhaust and when you start the bike it's gonna burn and create a nasty smell. Now moving in a crisscross pattern, loosen the bolts holding the filter cover in place. Carefully holding the cover, remove all three bolts. Slowly let the spring expand and pull the cover away. Remove the o-ring on the cover and then uh, pull out the oil filter as well as the o-ring at the back of the oil filter. Now using a clean cloth, wipe the inside of the oil filter housing to remove any old oil. Soak the new oil filter and the two new o-rings in oil and then fix them back in the housing.
make sure to follow the same crisscross pattern and tighten the bolts. Also, when installing O-rings, make sure that they are in the correct position and they are not bent or pinched in any place. Next, fix back the primary and secondary drain bolts. Always remember to keep a cloth handy and wipe any surfaces and threads uh, to remove any dust before fixing back the bolts. Now, place the pre-filter on its cap and fix it back in its place. Once this is done, your engine is back to its original condition, except it needs fresh oil. Now, remove the filler cap, place a funnel in it and pour 2.5 litres of fresh new engine oil. Make sure to keep a check on the level indicator. You should never overfill oil above the maximum mark. Screw on the filler cap and tighten it a bit. Now start the bike and let it idle for a few minutes. Let that new engine oil circulate through your engine. Well, that's all it takes to change the engine oil on your Royal MP. Now, it's not rocket science, but I like working on my bike, so I do this job myself. That's all for today. Stay tuned for more uh, DIY videos on the road ahead with AJ. Until then, dream on, ride on, and helmet always on.